Alright, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for a new release film that was released yesterday in select theaters, and I just came back about an hour ago. Um, it is a 2024 horror film called Azarel. And I don't know the Bible, but I'm thinking I read that Azarel is the name of a version of the Angel of Death. I could be wrong. So don't, don't go after me, but here's the plot. Years after the rapture, a devout cult of mute zealots hunts down Azarel, a young woman who escaped her own imprisonment. Now here is some of the cast. So this was a very, very weird film. It honestly reminds me of the cult in The Last of Us 2 game, like a spinoff just revolving around that. Uh, it had plenty of gore at times and over the top at times. Production value was through the roof, including high grade sound design and camera work. Samara Weaving had such a presence in her non-speaking role and was such a badass. And honestly, I'm not surprised one bit. The stuff that I have seen her in made me love her her, uh, her young um, career of starting out as in horror type films. And they're usually like type of, uh, she. the first time I ever met, saw her was in Ready or Die. I believe that's called Ready or Not or Ready or Die. And it just blew me away, her, her performance in that. And then I think I've seen like a couple other things, but I just absolutely love her. And that's one of the things that drawed me to want to check this out. The look and feel throughout was creepy, but wasn't really scary to me. And that's not always a bad thing. It also was a unique and uh, concept for a film, but the story itself was bare. I had so many questions by the end. Like, why were they sacrificing? What was the reason behind the way they went about it? And so much more that I can't say, because of spoilers. But here is my rating, and I'll come back to my fall thoughts. Honestly, a 5 out of 5 for the production value, hands down. But the film as a whole, mainly around the story, is a three and a half. Uh, three out of five, I mean. The amount of missing pieces in the story was the film's downfall for me personally, in my opinion, was but was an okay film until the end where it completely lost me more than anything other than the other issues with it. Of, of was I, what, what I was trying to figure out was, what's this going on? What's this? What's the reason behind that? You know, questions. Um, I don't know. I don't. Maybe, man. Maybe I'm missing some context from the ver one of the versions of many of the Bible or a or the Quran or something. Um, I think the the I, I look. I didn't grow up in a religious household, so I wasn't really taught about it. I learned some stuff here and there, so I did get some st stuff little here and there. Uh, figure some stuff out like those monsters are probably like some sort of the damned or demons or something. Um, and I heard a little bit about why they, these type of, of, of theory of, of what would happen after the rapture, people would, uh, you know, denounce their voice for some sort of reason, which I, that has pieces, pieces to it. I don't understand. Um, so I, I there could be a, a version of, of something I missed, um, so maybe to people who grew up in a uh, religious household of some sort uh, would probably get this. Personally for me, if there was just way too much missing from the story, I was oblivious to whatever, like three-fourths of the film of the story. Now, was it entertaining? 100%. But the story was so lacking that it took away from that. To the point that by the second half, I was starting to get bored 
at the same time it was the entertainment part was the whole how it would have the atmosphere and the directing and the the you know the production value overall not to name everything um that was very good so i was actually just kind of torn strongly more than any other film i've been in a while of uh, what i thought about this by him but yeah uh that that's three out of five it, it's, it's what it is okay um but uh yeah so what do you leave your thoughts down below remember i love you all please stay safe spread the love most importantly skull <laughs>